Troubles are finally over. We hit a vein of gold as wide as a locomotive that runs clean through Bear Mountain. Hey, Pa, where'd you get that? Isn't she a beaut? Yeah. Can I hold it? She's one of a pair, only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? My partner Griff has it. We made them up special to symbolize our newfound wealth. Can I try it out? One day, this fine weapon will be yours. But for now, why don't you take my old pistol? Go on down to the river and practice while I give your ma her gifts. <laughs> <laughs> now don't henpeck the boy. Next trip into town, I'll buy you a whole bunch of new pots and pans. Red, up the hill and quick, boy. We're getting raided. I'm coming, Pa. The kid's down by the river. Go get him. You bet. <laughs> There you are! Ah! 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 
Paul! 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 Get up, Paul! 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 Kid, I reckon your Paul's better off dead. Him being such a yellow belly and all. <laughs> <laughs> Friend, <laughs> come on over here. Come on now. It's too dangerous for a man to be walking around in these parts. I deal in weapons and goods, see? <laughs> I would have offered you more than that. <laughs> but uh, the gang of ruffians done run me off of my... Oh, uh, well, I didn't... Uh... You're holding out on us, no! old man. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? Fill him full of lead. <laughs> for cover! Take cover! I'm over here! Uh, I hate to see you in a bad mood, mister. Drop the gun, you little... Hey, you! <laughs> Great shooting, stranger! mean out of you <laughs> I like those boots Don't mean your bounty hunter's gonna take me alive Ow!
Here I come! Son, <laughs> you done killed them all. <laughs> you know, you can get quite a handsome bounty for these fellas if you took them down to Sheriff O'Grady's in Widow's Patch. I'll be taking your cart. Uh, well, uh, sure, uh, whatever you say, bounty hunter. <laughs> How much for the lot? Well, you did good, son. But you're out of luck. Take a look around. There ain't much here. I got nothing to offer you. Bugly Gang has done destroyed my town. <laughs> that, that damn dog gone leaved himself all over them fancy boots here. <laughs> damn varmint.
looking at a dead man. Sheriff, you may have beaten my gang, but you ain't gonna get by me! in Brimstone. <coughs> Sheriff Bartlett might offer you a handsome reward if and you can get me there. I'll send a telegram and tell him about your arrival. <coughs> Stone, but uh, I reckon I'll manage. The best general store in the territories in Brimstone. I should know. I own it. Mister, you could really use a hot bath and some fresh clothes. Howdy, gunslinger. You'll see plenty more of your kind in Brimstone. Hey, mister, you heading to Brimstone too? I reckon that's where everyone is heading. Always jobs in Brimstone. Me, I'm going to work for Carnaby Peabody. He's the manager of the Brimstone Bank and a real swell guy. What you bothering me for? Sit back down. Bandits! Well, bounty hunter, if you want this train to make it to Brimstone, you better load up them guns of yours. Now this here's a robbery. Nobody plays hero, nobody dies.
you going, little butterfly? Close. Hey, thanks for saving me. Here, let me patch you up a bit. There ain't no end to these desperados!
Western Express is now arriving at Brimstone Station from Widow's Patch and Points East. You the bounty hunter? Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> Well, I do declare. I had me such a fright the other day. One of my little ones got to drinking some liver medicine I bought from a traveling salesman. Say, you're new in town, ain't you, stranger? You ought to have a look around and see the sights while you's here. There was some fancy pants Englishman in town just the other day claiming he was a famous trick shooter. Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. Offers five thousand dollar prize to the quickest draw in the territory. Hey, you look like you've traveled around these parts. I heard you was the one that saved Sheriff O'Grady's life. If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful. He's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he's keeping company with. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I seem to have found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. there's more where they came from. That contraption should make short work of them. I'll cover you.
gonna blow up real good, cowboy! Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. an extinguished fellow. Jack, what an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Jack. Don't bet on making it out again. Over the lips and past the girls. Look out, Jack. Here I come. Oh, oh. Jack! Oh, little pit 
me up, I think. My boys will keep you busy. This excitement has made me quite thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost run dry. Okay, Swift. I've had enough of you now. I'm over here. Never did like the circus. Oh, that was incredible! You saved my life! All in a day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. If getting yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. There's a sharpshooter competition in Brimstone. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, madam. Professor Perry perishes at the hands of a traveling showman. Good day to you, sir. I don't suppose you know what's going on up at Rogue Valley, would you? Not bad, bounty hunter. Not bad at all. Now I reckon you could really line your pockets if you don't mind hunting down a woman. If you can call her a woman.
Follow me, I know a shortcut. Friend, you go ahead, I'll follow you. taking on a woman like me you either drunk or crazy a fight you can't win back huh? Hunter. Rogue Valley to be renamed after Bounty Hunter clears out bandits. <laughs> I reckon that old Bessie was a real handful. Take care of this last one, and I'll make it worth your while. Mr. Black, he's a strange one. Truth be told, I ain't even sure if he's alive, but he's hurt a lot of good folks in this town and he needs taken care of.
Your judgment day has come. Bounty claimed on the most wanted head in the territory. <laughs> Sheriff Bartlett says we're safer than ever. You're one hell of a bounty hunter, mister. You'd make me one fine deputy. I just want my money. From what I hear, the wagon hasn't arrived with the bank's gold. You'll have to take that up with Mr. Peabody, the bank manager. I just need one more week. I can pay you the $5,000 that I owe, but the governor is bribing my ranch hands to leave, and I cannot do it by myself. Well, 
why not just sell up to the governor? You could always move into town and work in the saloon. The saloon? How dare you? I just need one more week. I don't think the owner of the bank would approve. Well, maybe I can speak with him myself. I'm sorry, but the governor is too busy for the likes of you. To hell with that evil son of a bitch! He's mine enough gold out of Bear Mountain! What the hell does he want my damn ranch? Ma'am? I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of assistance? I want my money. We have a small problem. Then tell me about the Golden Bear Mountain that young lady was talking about. I'm sorry, I can't disclose anything about our clients. Oof! Then tell me where she lives. And when I get back, you'd better have my gold. <laughs> made us a better offer. Good luck, Sam. God, not you too, Sam.
Do I know you, stranger? Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? Five thousand pieces in gold. This'll help me keep my ranch. I'm saying as if it were me to lost an arm. Well, maybe, but a cannon? Well, that's too much gun for any man. Ah, cork your whiskey holes. You didn't know him before like I did. Only a cannon could replace that man's arm. How'd he lose his arm? We ain't telling you nothing, stranger. Near as I can tell, we ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Take a walk! <laughs> Answer my question, and I'll be on my way. Well, shut up! Don't tell the stinking prairie dog nothing! <laughs> Ain't that right, Sam? I reckon so. Say goodbye, mister. Ooh, 
That's gotta hurt. Don't go getting yourself killed now. I need your help. Oh. 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 Well, you're pretty good in a fight, stranger. The only problem is you lost your guns and all the ruckus. Here you go. Looks like you still got some business with them brothers. They ain't what you call kindly fellers. Open the damn door, woman. Well, good luck to you. But I gotta look out for myself, so this door is getting locked behind you. Looky what we got here. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a varmint what don't know its own business.
Hold still, bounty hunter. I'll make it quick. Bounty hunter. That's enough disturbing the peace for one day. Hand over the weapon. I said hand it over. Fella such as yourself should know better than to stick his nose where it don't belong. Tell me about the one-armed man. <laughs> What's it to you? He killed my folks. Well, I'll be darned. I'd heard rumors you were alive, but never believed it. You're Nate Harlow's son, Ray. Tell me what you know about the death of my family. You see, it all happened about 12 years ago, when the U.S. Cavalry made a little incursion south of the border.
We have those gringos exactly where we want them. Generalissimo, you're not planning to take on the entire Yankee army. You don't expect me to answer a stupid question like that. Prepare the artillery!
Andale! Andale! This will teach those gringos to cross the Rio Grande! No uniform! He must be a spy. Bring him to me! Take him to the river and shoot him like a dog. No, no, no! I'm not a spy! I'm a businessman! Please! I was just trying to get across the river! Please! I have gold! Lots of gold! Haha! <laughs> you lied to save your pathetic no, life! No! It's true! It's true! I have gold! Bring him to me! It's lots of gold. More gold than you've ever seen. A gold mine. And it's just over the border in the territory. If you spare my life, I can give you half. Huh. Why shouldn't I take all of it? Because you don't know where it is. You better speak fast. We need some privacy. Now tell me more about this gold mine. Truth be told, there is one little problem. I only own half the claim. My partner Nate owns the other half. And what if I kill your partner? Then that would make us... partners. Partner. <laughs> Where would I find this Diego? He rides through the territory to deliver gold to the governor once a week. He rests his horses at Devil's Fork. It won't be easy. That wagon is like a fortress on wheels. The charges are dropped. If you reckon you can bring him in, dead or... Well, dead'll do. Much obliged. my views. Here I am getting a handful of pesos a month, and if it weren't for me, a treasure in gold would disappear. Ow! Oh, to damn! Yeah. I had to speak to you. Oh. 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 Ow! I see you in hell! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! with the wife.
My father's... I have news. What is it, Shadow Wolf? Cousin Red is alive. I saw the devil Diego taken prisoner to the mines. You must help him then. Go, Shadow Wolf, but beware of the ghost devil. I wonder what General Diego is doing right now. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Ow! I heard something. Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ay! 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 Huh! Ya! Ya! Sure is cold out here. A lot colder in the grave, which is where you will be if you don't keep watch. <laughs> At least we don't have Colonel Darren watching us. Beans left. See, but they're cold. Like everything up here. Ah! Ah! Ooh, ow, ow! Ah, 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 ah. Got some of oh, 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 oh. What time is it? Must be close yeah. to midnight. Should we wake them yet? No, they'll just yell at us more. At least it's quiet. You don't belong. Ow! Hello, Ouch. amigos. Ow! Ow! What's that? Ow! 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 Ow!
Ow! Just I hear stories about it. Yeah. Ow! Waking Ow. up dead. <laughs> ay, <laughs> ay, fool. Oh, someone there? Ow! Who's there? Hey, you look to me like... Ah! Yeah! Huh? Ah! Huh? Yeah! Huh? It's been a week since General Diego captured me. I don't know nothing about bounty hunting, but I've been a slave once, and I ain't gonna never do it again. Cousin Red? Shadow Wolf? I knew I'd find you. The blood bond between is strong. I'll go to Brimstone. I'll have the cavalry here in no time. Go fast, soldier. Unless we separate, we will have no chance for escape. I will go this way and meet you at Diego's fort. You 
don't belong here. Now I know what it's like to fight yeah. señoritas. <laughs> ¡Ay, eso sí huele! What did I tell you about paying attention? You said we gotta pay attention all the times, cause anything might happen anywhere at any time. So what happened? You left the prisoner unguarded? Well, I was paying attention, boss. I got to thinking that if anything could happen at any time, anywhere, then something might happen someplace else that I wasn't paying attention to. So I moseyed around the corner and... But I told you! to guard the prisoners. Well, you said anything could happen at any time, boss. So I got to thinking on it and... You ain't paid to think. Okay, but I thought you said anything could ha... What are you doing? I don't know, boss. You're thinking! Is that what I'm doing? I told you not to think, didn't I? You told me to pay attention. And I figured paying attention takes a good part of thinking. No, it don't. It means standing there with your eye holes and ear holes open, dummy. Well, it's hard to just shut down your brain like that, boss. It shouldn't be too hard for you. But while you're standing there, right? With your eyes and ears open, and you're not thinking, just about anybody could just sneak up on you because you wouldn't think to yourself, Hey, there's some fool trying to slip on past me there. Because you done started thinking, your eyes and ears went marching round that corner, and they snuck on past her anyway. Well, gee whiz. I come to think of it, it seems like either way it don't work out, right? You're thinking again. That's where you get yourself in trouble. Every time. Dang it! <clears throat> <clears throat> Who are you? <clears throat>
away! Here I come! killing time since Mr. Kelly made us guard this hole in the ground, but it looks like things are picking up. <laughs> That's bad luck for you, stranger.
You going to Brimstone? Close enough, I suppose. The express road passes about a mile outside of town. Well, I gotta get to the governor so he can call out the troops. There's trouble heading from down south. Well, climb on back, soldier. Things I do for the army. Look up ahead. There's too many. Like one last ambush. This looks like the end. Sweet Mary, Mother of God, you got them all.
there goes my last chance. Just keep driving. Brimstone's just about a mile or so down that way. Oh, sorry I can't take any closer, but there are some desperate folks in need of these supplies. Much obliged, mister. I'll make sure to tell the governor you helped me. There may even be a reward uh, in the If it's you. all the same to you, uh, I'd just assume that Governor Griffin don't even know who I am. <laughs> Good luck to you, soldier. Governor. You gotta call General Bowden right away, sir. <laughs> Who let you in here, soldier? There's a renegade general on your territory. His name is Diego. He's running a gold mine, and he's using slave labor. It's a job only the U.S. Army can handle, sir. He has an army, and a fort, too. Well, thank you, soldier. Mr. Diego is one of my biggest contributors. I'm sure this is all a simple misunderstanding. But Mr. Kelly here, he's gonna take good care of you. Longer for the cavalry, they'll be rescuing our corpses. If we attack the Gatling gun head on, they'll both die. I'll draw the fire while you try to find a way inside the walls. Here! Yeah. <laughs> 
Espérete.
Many are the dead who have prayed for this moment. You have done well, Red, but his master Diego still lives. <coughs> That's Diego's war train. Go, cousin, finish what you have started. shall know of your courage, cousin. Forget how to use those rifles? I've had enough! A thousand pieces in gold to the man who brings me that gringo's head!
You better stop shaking. It is far from over, Gringo. Get ready, Gringo. He's killed so many men down south, he had to come up north to find some more. Senor Gabriel Navarro. Challenging him, a man of mystery. Some of you may have heard of all the recent bounty hunting he did on behalf of the town. Ladies and gentlemen, Red. <laughs> I don't reckon he should be so eager to get himself killed, but rules is the rules, and there's no denying he's quick on the draw. He can't shave, but he sure can shoot. The challenger, Kid Cougar! Red, glad to see you made it through the preliminaries. Tomorrow should prove to be an exciting day. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. be too cocky, Bounty Hunter. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut from time to time.
Hey, sugar. Glad to see you made it this far. I got my eye on you now, honey. You do well tomorrow, and my oh my, we'll do some celebrating together. For our semi-final round, we have a three-time winner and current champion, the sharpest shooter and dresser in the whole territory, Mr. Kelly. The brave soul challenging him is a man who's killed a lot of bad men around here and is looking to kill some more. Red. Due to the sudden absence of Sheriff Bartlett, I'm gonna be stepping in to oversee this, uh, conclusion to the Battle Royale. Now, whereas the two gentlemen before us are clearly the best, I believe a change of the rules is in order. I hereby disqualify Jack Swift and Annie Stokes. The winner of this here round is going to be the winner of the Battle Royale. Well, Red, you're good. I'll give you that. But of course, you'd have to be to live through what you did. Still, I'm afraid that we're gonna have to end right here and now, what we should have ended so many years ago. Isn't she a beaut? Yeah! Can I hold it? She's one of a pair, only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? The other one. The other one. The other one. Mr. Kelly. Please join me at the mansion when you've finally taken care of business. <laughs>
Well, I guess I lost my chance at 5,000 in gold. A small price to pay to avoid shooting you, madam. Uh, Jack Swift, you're just lucky to be alive. <coughs> Sheriff, are you all right? Oh, I'm all right. Tell me where to find him. His mansion. But it's secured like a fortress. It'll be hard even for a bounty hunter like you. He will not be alone. He ain't the only one who wants the governor. I reckon that their prize money is in that mansion of his. comes through that gate, you kill him. I don't care if it's your granny's ghost. You put a bullet between their eyes and you don't stop shooting that rifle until you ain't got no bullets left. You understand me? Let's see if we can find a way in that will attract a little less attention. I'll go around this way. I'm going straight in. I think a frontal assault is out of the question. Suggestions? Follow me, and shoot anything that moves. Don't try and get yourself killed! Let's go for the fire! See more of Griffin's men. You know what to do. The only thing left in my bag of tricks is to pick the damn lock on the front door. Think you two can keep me from getting shot in the back while I do it? Only one way to find out. I'll cover you from up here with my rifle. All right then, mate. Follow me. I'll provide cover for you from up here. Oh, damn! Ah! I'll see you in hell!
I got it. Let's go. That no good governor is gonna be sorry he burned down my ranch after I get through with this fancy house. I don't think the governor is going to be in a position to care about much of anything soon. Keep your heads down, boys! Hunter, you're not getting in. I think we should barricade the door. Secret door. That's the stuff. Probably leads right to the bastard. I'll keep these devils at bay. You see where that passage leads. Yeah, but I wish I was... in your head for a bounty. I busted up the place something good. Found the keys to the whole place on one of them dead blue jackets. 
Still ain't seen hard in her hair, that sneaky governor, though. Let's keep moving. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Should we check on the prisoner? Just point me in the right direction, ma'am. You two go on and look for the governor. I'm gonna stay here and find Mr. Swift. I'm afraid the governor is otherwise occupied. Next time, I suggest you make an appointment. Only there ain't gonna be no next time. You got no chance, son. Best you just turn around and uh, keep on going. Ain't no shame in cheating death twice. I've got some nitro I found there in the governor's office. You lay down some fire, and I'll take that gate right down. to put a bullet in that man's brain. Get going, bounty hunter. Kill him, or I'll kill you. Scorpion revolver. I hate to see talent like yours rotten in the You can have everything, Red. J just let me walk away. 
I always regretted what happened back on your daddy's farm, Red. I should have been there. To make sure you joined them. But lucky for me, I get a second chance. Never did like him much. Jack? Well, Red, I'm not saying Griffin didn't deserve it, but he was the governor. I reckon the army will be sniffing around here and... Well, I'd hate to see you hang after all you've done. Five thousand in gold sound like a fair bounty. to them. It never was about the money. Thank you.